Hello, all you entree musicians out there. My name is Robbie, and I am a singer, musician, songwriter, producer. Um, and I have been asked by Jerry B to share some of my production tips. Um, I have been recording for ugh, for a while, and I have been a recording artist for a while. So um, with this new um, era of the home studio and the um, independent artists, myself, uh, like most of you, um, are having to find out tips and techniques to better my recording process and to better my uh, mastering process and the whole the whole thing. So if you're like me, you're having to do pretty much everything. You're ending up being the artist, the songwriter, uh, the musician, and the recording engineer. So um, I want to share with you a few of my processes. Now, just like music, some of these processes are not written in stone and they're not the be all end all. So um, hopefully these may be starting points for you. So what I want to suggest and what I want to start off with is in my recording process, how I start off my recording, um, it's through uh, with a process called gain staging. Now, gain staging for some may be a little controversial. Um, I personally have found it to be very helpful in my mixing process. When it gets down to mixing a certain project, um, it's become very helpful, um, beneficial in the way of just getting everything to be cohesive, everything to be at a certain level. And, you know, so I can probably get my mixes to be compatible to um, a lot of what's out there now, what you hear on Spotify and Apple Music and Amazon. So hopefully if this tip helps you, um, I can say that it has definitely helped me in my mixes. So uh, let's pretty much get straight to it. I have a short slide presentation that I want to share. So gain staging. Gain staging, the idea is to record the signal going into your DAW via your audio interface hot enough to minimize noise while leaving enough headroom to also avoid potential for clipping. Should the singer or player get a bit carried away during each take? So um, what you may notice on your doll, you notice that on your meters, um, I think around 18 dB is just before it starts to get in the yellow in most cases. So you want to kind of keep whatever sound at that level, at you know, to be optimum um, peak at that level. Ultimately, what this all boils down to is a recommendation to aim for average input volume level of around 18 dB. This provides the best balance of headroom and sound noise ratio, as well as playing nice with analog hardware. In fact, most analog uh, emulation plugins are made to work best at this signal level. So I know a lot of Waves plugins, um, they recommend that you get uh, the input signal to be at least around that. So that gives um, the next stage, gain stage, the next stage in the process, um, that kind of basically, I uh, guess, how would you say it? kind of um, gets, you get the best out of that plugin in that chain going through that process. So above right there is a, um, 
a website that I often refer to, um, Produce Like a Pro. They have um, a blog on there for uh, the best free VU meter plugins. Um, there are a lot of them that are free and some of them are, you know, fairly inexpensive, but um, there's a difference. So your doll's standard peak metering won't be much use for this. Consider a VU meter plugin. There are quite a few out there. Some of them are free. And then calibrate it so that 18 dB equals to 0 dB VU on the meter. So what you want to do is basically once you get the uh, your VU meter, you want uh, to calibrate it so that 18 basically equates to zero. So you don't want to go over, uh, definitely don't want to go over zero dB, which then takes to the next point. Avoid clipping so that the sound is not distorted. What you don't want is distortion. Some you may be in, you know, you may want that. There are plugins that can uh, produce that that sound, but I would suggest not originally um, on the onset creating that because you can't erase it. You know, so if you don't want it, you're stuck. So keep in mind that 18 dB is your average target at the output of every plugin so every channel for every channel and every bus so what i want to do now is share another what i want to do is share another screen of my daw and my DAW of choice is Logic. Now I'm gonna place this limiter on here just in case so that it can give it some, some volume, but pay attention to this channel, the metering here on this channel first. I'm gonna get rid of that for, for now. I just did a little small vocal something. Don't be super critical, please. So what you find out, what you're going to find with your metering on your DAW, it's going to measure the peaks in most cases. So this isn't really giving you an average of what, you know, sound you're dealing with. So that's why having a VU meter calibrated at 18, so when it hits... When it hits here, it's not even at zero, right? So you wanna you wanna kind of give it an average. Now the other thing is now what you would notice, what you'll notice with this, some dolls have a gain setting where you can change the gain setting because what this was originally. This was fairly loud. So we're spending, we're spending a lot of time that we need over here. So what I did is just basically kind of brought it down a little bit to about, about 3 dB. Now, the other part to it is like it like in the in the presentation it says you want to get an average of 18 dB going into your um, plugins. So what I want to do here is I want to pull up uh, not that one. I'm going to pull up this compressor and I want to set it. Basically, what I do with my vocal chains, and this will probably be another um, podcast, 
But what I do with my vocal chain initially is try to get those peaks and manage those peaks in um, in whatever instrument or vocal. So if you notice it, it's only it's only touching, it's only getting at right at those peaks. So it's kind of smoothing everything out. And if you notice that at that initial, yeah, it's not going all the way over here. Right? So I usually set a, um, a compressor going in there to manage my peaks on there. Um, to help with the gain staging, to kind of manage the, the top and the bottom. So now the output here. Hmm, uh, I guess you could say around 18. It's close. You don't want to. You don't want to bang your head up against the wall to get it at 18. But you want to kind of get it like when 18, between maybe 18 and 12 for the most part. Especially with something as dynamic as a vocal, because at certain points, you know, it could be spiked up to like right at six, like here. And then some points it's going to hover around here. So you kind of want it to kind of average out. Right? So. Another way, another process to kind of manage gain staging and what you can do in your DAW. What I do sometimes, let's say this particular part is fairly loud. You can. You can, for the most part, just manipulate that one part so that you get it so that it kind of averages out and say i want to let's say just for sake of time i want to just pull that down 4 db so because that was the loudest part so i want to kind of just See, I don't want it to go, I'm not trying to get it you know, crazy because keep in mind, this is just the beginning of the process. So I just want to go in and just level everything out at 18. Now, what I do want to suggest is at, um, what, you, what I would suggest rather, at the beginning stages, most of you are recording through a interface. So this is one of my old interfaces, just an example. On most interfaces, you have a gain level. So your first stage of gain staging really starts here. So what you wanna do is get a decent level you want to get a decent level here on going in to say you're using a mic, you're, you're doing vocals. You want to get a decent level going in. And I would suggest, you know, maybe singing the chorus or have the singer sing the chorus, which is probably going to be the loudest part of the vocal. Go ahead and do that. And just kind of measure, okay, well, I'm going to keep it here. So that kind of averages out. So you want to start here with your interface because this is what's going into your DAW. So you want to start here, get a decent level, and then that'll be your recording. I have to apologize. I didn't, I didn't do that before my, uh, for this example. But like I said, you can continue. Now, some cases you may be the engineer. This may be for some people who are just doing the mixing. You can go ahead and do this process and just say, okay, I want to just, this part is kind of loud. So I just want to tone that down. Most dolls, like I said, have a, uh, a gain setting. So you can manipulate.
the gain for that for that part, right? And so what um, so that's pretty much it for gain stages. So you want to do that um, for every plugin that goes into um, so the next thing may be an EQ. So I may pull up an EQ and I'll do all of my processing with my EQ. Right? Uh, do all of my processing with my EQ. But at the same time, making sure that it doesn't get it doesn't give any more volume to it or takes away from it. So you want to kind of keep a decent balance on your meter for at every stage of um, every stage of your vocal chain or your instrument chain, right? So, so that's part one. I'm going to stop and stop us there. So um, do some experimenting. Just mess around with it. Try to get, you know, if you're a vocalist or if you're recording vocals or you're recording a bass or whatever. Start raw and average out around 18 dB uh, on your, on whatever you're using. Average in at, um, that, and then add, let's say if whatever you may add after that, you know, a compressor or an EQ or um, some kind of plugin, you know, but maintain, that 18 dB. Now, the other point I want to keep also, so you're recording. You're re this is the recording process. The other part I want to um, advise is you want to leave your fader at zero. So that way, you're just recording at this point. So when you pull everything and get everything, uh, and I'm getting ahead of myself a little, but you don't want to mess with this until you get to your mixing process because at this point you want to get your sound right you want to get your sound to the point where it's leveled you want to get the tone right it's eq'd everything is there right and you want to maintain it at zero um with your fader at zero d at um uh, zero db Right? Well, not zero dB, but at zero. Yeah. <laughs> now, so my next tip is going to be uh, specifically for vocals. My next tip is going to be how do I process my vocals? That's going to be. I would suggest a starting point for some, but um, as a vocalist, it's been my nemesis for the most part, trying to get my vocals to sound as best as I could. So uh, that's going to be my next tip. Um, let us know, just, you know, let me know if this is helpful. I hope that it is. Um, for those of you who are not at this point gain staging, um, I, I challenge you to try it and just see how your mixes turn out. Um, I'm, I, I, I guarantee that your mixes are going to sound uh, a lot better using this process. So that's it for me. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for my next video. Thanks. Take care.